So this is me, Brandon. Let me take y'all on a journey of me designing and printing a 3D mask. I start out with a 3D render of my face, cutting out the parts I don't need. With the parts that I do need, I start coming up with a design. I started with a Joker type design. Y'all, you know, let me know what to think. Um, that, that that design is still saved in my computer. Then I went back and added some teardrops. Was, and um, thought I needed to add more to it. So I added some teeth and another teardrop. Y'all like it? What do you think? Then I kind of was watching some sci-fi stuff and I was like, nah, scratch that. Go back to the teeth design. And I realized I couldn't go with that design because the mask would break. So what I did was take some from each mask design. I like the teeth on this one, and I liked the teardrops, okay? I liked the eyes on this one, and I liked the teeth. But I didn't like the third eye on this one. Then ding, 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 we had the winner. I added a smiley face and kept the mouth web, okay? So with a design I'm satisfied with, I head over to the printing area. And I watched it go up and down for a few hours, preferably about eight hours it took to make this print. The smell was so bad, I had to take the mask outside to let the air dry. And if you don't know anything about resin printing, it has a tremendous, horrific odor. What I'm doing now is drying the rest of the resin with the UV light. And this phase right here, is I'm removing the support pieces. And at the end of the day, dun, 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 yes, baby, Thrill Arts mask with the date on there. Yeah, what y'all think? Like, subscribe, comment, follow, do all that good old stuff. Even order if you like, store on Etsy.